Just you. Come on out. Just you. Just you. Come here. Just you. Just you. Just you. Suck my dick. Just you. Come here. Come outside. Open the door. Get up, Steve. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. This next clip from Decatur, Georgia, is another instance of things not being what they seem. A young man approaches the door of this residence. He knocks. He calls out to the homeowner. Excuse me? Sir, please. Help me. At first you may be thinking, how heartless. The kid just needed some help, right? I know that's what I was thinking when I watched this for the first time. Who is it? Who is it? Um, it's me, it's me, sir. I ain't nothing but 16 years old. I'm lost out here stranded, sir. I just oh, need go a on, call. Go, go, go. Sir, could you please call my dad, sir, and let him know where I'm at so I can get home safe, sir, please? All right, go on. Go on. Uh, sir, I'm sorry I'm bugging you late at night, but I'm nothing but a kid late out here stranded, sir. Yeah, all right, go on somewhere. We can't help you. Sir? You keep on now. We finna call the police. Yes, sir, you want me to leave? Yes. All right, sir. Yes, sir. But take a closer look. You can see the young man has something in the pocket of his hoodie that's pulling it down in the front. He has a gun. The man is not just a 16-year-old kid lost in the neighborhood. He was using that story to try to gain access to the home. The fact that the homeowner turned him away at the door likely saved the lives of everyone in the house. Share this with everyone you know to warn them about what's out there and to keep their family safe. At first look, you may not see the danger, but danger may be there. Would you have called the kid's dad? What would you have done? Tell us in the comments below. Did you see the gun or did this young man have you fooled? The homeowner has made a habit of leaving her car doors unlocked while her car was parked on the street. Of course, it didn't take long before someone discovered this crime of opportunity and broke into her car. This doorbell video is of the man who took the items from her car, including a set of keys that he believed may have had the key to the residence on it. He tries the keys while the young woman is inside, sleeping in her bed. Thankfully on this night, none of those keys opened her door, and the man was forced to leave empty-handed. We can all imagine a much worse outcome if the man had managed to get into the young woman's house. We always say, the surest way to keep yourself and your family safe is to lock your doors. In a video from San Diego, this door-to-door -door salesman doesn't seem suspicious at first glance. He rang the bell, and the homeowner responded through the device. When he told him he was at the wrong address, the man apologized to the homeowner with a smile. This is the Robinson's residence at 712. Uh, now you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, I apologize for that. Something about this seemingly harmless exchange just didn't sit right with the homeowner, however, and he sent the footage to local police. The police confirmed that the man in the video was a suspect in as many as 19 home burglary cases, each time posing as a salesman. The suspect remains at large. This next video will leave you asking, what is the world coming to? On your left, the mailman, Rain or Shine, is doing his duty and delivering mail. When two young men approach, one wearing a red hoodie, they hold him at gunpoint demanding the keys to his mail truck. These thugs get the keys and run off to find the truck. The mailman, dedicated to his responsibilities, picks up the mail that dropped from his hands when he was assaulted and sets off to complete his task, proving once again that neither sleet nor snow, wind or rain, armed robbery or assault will prevent a mail carrier from completing their duty. But honestly, what is the world coming to when even the mail carrier isn't safe? 
tell us what you think in the comments below. In the most bizarre video you'll see today from Miami, Florida, you can't even be sure what you're seeing here initially. What looks like it could be the light sleeve of a dark jacket uh, seems to be just floating there in space. What do you think this is? Tell us in the comments below before we fully reveal what's going on here. In moments it becomes clear, this is a leg with a cowboy boot attached. What is this person doing here at 4.30 in the morning with their leg hanging off the roof? Finally, he finds his footing and brings down his other leg. Then he slowly lowers his body. Where's this man's shirt? What's he doing running around on the roof at 4.30 in the morning without his shirt? People are strange. He drops down and we can see that he's fashioned his shirt into some kind of hood as he moves down the sidewalk of this property and stoops down, stopping for a moment. By the time the resident says something on the doorbell camera, this tweaker is down the walk and on his way to his next adventure. Our next video comes from Boston, Massachusetts. It's a sunny morning and this homeowner gets an alert from his doorbell camera that someone's on his porch. Listen as the homeowner tries to understand the purpose for the young man being there. I can help you. I can help Hello, I can help you? Hello? Come to the front door. Oh, hi. I'm all like, hi, what do you need? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my Uber. For your Close. Uber? Yeah, Uber. You, you can stay. You can stay to my porch. Huh? You can stay in my porch. Why? Is there a problem? I'm just waiting on it. It's a property. It's a private property. You can stay here. You don't live in my house. I'm, I'm not. I'm not being disrupted. You can stay in my porch. It's private property. Please out of my house. Well, apparently, this young man doesn't like that he's being told to leave private property. Out of my house. I call the police. The prospect of a late night visitor is scary in any situation. Here, a police officer is attempting to make contact with this homeowner as police search the wooded area nearby. Door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Police have to make split decisions about the level of threat they are experiencing in every situation and an armed homeowner responding to their knocking creates a tense situation that could go terribly wrong. In this situation, the officer is patient and the homeowner is communicating with the officer as soon as the exchange begins. Hey there, how are you bro? What's going on, what's your name? Can you name? put that out for me? I can't, I'm an officer, but what, what you mean? Yeah, put that out for me. Why do you not on my door? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, don't point at that. I'm not. Okay, what you mean? it could have ended very differently. In this video, a home invader is taking advantage of the fact that there are abandoned homes in this neighborhood as he climbs out the garage window with a hall in tow. He reaches back into the window as he attempts to free up his hands in order to grab his loot and pull it out the window. The fact that the house across the street is boarded up probably gives this criminal a boost of confidence that there are few people around to witness what he's doing here at 1.30 in the morning. Among the prizes he's pulled out for himself is a gas-powered weed eater from the garage. He moves to the front of the house and heads off with valuables in hand. Another example of people who think everything you own belongs to them. You just don't know it yet. 
Do you have footage of a brazen criminal making off with your belongings? Share it with us so we can share it with the world. Channel of Paul, making the world a safer place, one video at a time.